Hello, 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 and this is the real Agent P. Hi, I'm the lovely wife. And we are coming at you today with a uh, special little video that we're doing. Uh, this is a new series that I'm going to be doing called Tea with Agent P. Now, what this is is going to be a you know casual interview uh, series where I get other people to come on, <laughs> not just me and the lovely wife, and we kind of go over their uh, what they got in the making, you know, like where they came from, and just, you know, more of a, uh, uh, oh, you don't see any tea, oh, you don't see any tea, oh, tea, right here, right here, it's green tea with honey, Arnie's. I have lemonade, because I hate tea. <laughs> oh, yeah, and by the way, this cup, very personalized cup, haha, <laughs> 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 so title is not misleading, <laughs> boom, <laughs> uh, but yeah, we do plan on having, uh, people come on and, you know, talking with them, uh, Thank you. I, I appreciate that. Like the the cup was given to me by um, my buddy J Star. He's been on the channel a couple times. He's a guy from Australia. He found my channel and was like, "Hey, mate, you want to come? Uh, you want to be fighting?" <laughs> got my coffee in a bad minute. Nice, <laughs> nice. Yeah, my she's my got, Harley Quinn. Yeah, she doesn't like tea. Tumbler, custom made for me. Yeah, so she's got her Harley. Quinn. Oh, Margot tumbler. Robbie. Yep. Yeah, she freaking loves uh, Harley Quinn. Pets cat. <laughs> so good mm, mm, i love green tea uh, and i have a full pot too so yeah <laughs> we are we are prepared for this however long it takes yeah how can you not like tea i've tried green tea i've tried like black lipton tea louisiana tea when i was younger and i just didn't like it so it's just kind of like eh. same thing with like diet coke i don't like it either <laughs> I, Having I, it shoved down my throat's not a great thing. <laughs> I understand the, the not liking the diet thing. It does have a weird flavor to mm -hmm. it. Um, but the tea thing is just so just, weird I, to me. I just don't like tea. Like, I grew up drinking... Like uh, no, I don't even tea. like sweet tea. I hate tea in general. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah soda I know. Is bad for you. <laughs> soda's very bad for you, isn't it? I like my Dr. Pepper and my root beer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not sponsored at all. No, Dang it. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> uh, I wish sometimes, but... Yep, not sponsored. Ah. Uh, uh, but yeah, so this is just kind of going to be, uh, for this episode, it's just going to be a very casual, like, if you have anything that you guys want to know, um, talk about this. <laughs> oh, we will. Trust me, Arnie. We will. We will. Uh, but if you guys have any, like, questions for us. Um, Barks, hands down. Well, Barks, root beer. Well, or, or local. Like, yeah. You've yeah. got some. IBC. Yeah, I like IBC. Um, that one with the crow that's from, like, Milwaukee. Shrekker. Yes, that one. Yeah, Shrekker. That's a good one. It's, it's got a little black crow on it. Um, and I also have some, like, sass, sassafras root? We have sassafras and sarsaparilla. Yeah, we got some, some dried root uh, so I can make my own syrups because I know how to do that because I'm awesome like that. <laughs> and we can make our own soda. Uh, yeah, I do play other fighting games besides uh, DBFZ. Um, I like Fantasy Strike, uh, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat. I was really big into Marvel vs. Capcom 3 when the vanilla version was out. Um, also, Injustice, which this one yes. actually I love my Harley, loves obviously. Injustice. <laughs> um, Mortal I, Kombat, a yeah, little bit. I think if she actually put effort into it, like she'd be really good at an in Injustice game. She's just kind of got a knack for NRS mm -hmm. games. So, yeah, your Injustice, your uh, Mortal Kombat and such. So she's just got a kind of a knack for those. <laughs> no, I don't play Power Rangers. Um, and hello, Yimi Doge. Um, no, I don't play Power Rangers yet. I just don't own it. I know that like you and uh, Dostro are big like promoters of that. It, it is something that I'm gonna have to look into. I've, I've, I've watched it. Like whenever you guys have it streaming on the CIFTC, I do watch it. And I do think it's really interesting looking. And I, I was a Power Rangers fan when I What's up. the other fighting game we have? Which other one? It's got Geralt in it. Oh, Soul Calibur. Thank you, Soul yeah, Calibur. Yeah, she also likes Soul Calibur. And our uh, Polish daughter <laughs> likes Soul Calibur as well. Can you explain the Polish daughter okay, thing? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, for, for people who, who are wondering about the Polish daughter, um, we have this friend. Um, her name is Lika. She is from originally from Poland. Um, and happenstance happens. And she started hanging out with us a lot and she's really young like 22 I'm, she I'm, just turned 22 she just a few turned days 22 ago so happy birthday 
Um, but I'm 35, gonna be 36. I'm gonna be 33, I think. Something like that, yeah. <laughs> I was born and, 88, I don't like, care. When we first met her, like, three years ago at this point? She was, she was just 19, turned 20. Yeah, 20. Yeah. So, uh, and she was like, oh, madre, padre. So we just kind of, you know, uh, yeah. <laughs> I am old. I am an old man, okay? <laughs> Um, Pearl, come here. But yeah, she was just like, Padre, Padre. And uh, yeah, we just kind of adopted her and she's been hanging around. We're the since. mom and dad of all of our, of our friend groups. Yeah, we are. Oh, and yeah, it is it is the natural uh, youthfulness that I have. And I freaking Mine's love it. Makeup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, this is this is all natural. So, yeah. Oh, I freaking love to be... Pearl, do you want to get in and say hi? <laughs> we do have a lot of old parts in the CIFTC, and I friggin' love it, okay? <laughs> I like having old people in the CIFTC, because then we can all just sit and bitch around. Oh, back in my day, when Street Fighter 2 was new. <laughs> you know, How many Street Fighter 2s are there? Uh, I ask you this all the time. Yeah, there's, there's a few. I'm like, oh, I love it. Deep Technically, brilliant. there's only one Street Fighter 2. You know what I mean. But then you got, like, Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Super Street Fighter 2. Super Street Fighter 2 Hyper Fighting, Ultimate Omega Street Fighter 2 Hyper. Pearl's Arcade in the room edition. with us, so that, that's what you see. Oh, yes, keep we do have, down. Yeah, yeah, we have our one of our little dogs here. I say little. Oh, she's not little. Um, but yeah. Oh, yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, like. I would, I would definitely be in for. Dem like fighting justice one. Oh uh, yeah, I want to get Dim's fighting her. So bad. Like, With better internet now, we can yeah, get we it. Yeah, we do have good internet you made me now. Delete so. Steam, though. Well, we can always redownload it. That's not a problem. Our computer is the only thing I'm worried about being able to handle everything. And we've had this um, since before we got married. Yeah, it's a really old piece. It's like a six-year-old PC. Um, but yeah, Dim's fighting hurts are is one that we've <laughs> looked at. <laughs> <laughs> that we looked at and we were both like hmm my little pony fighting game that sounds fantastic yes yes please <laughs> 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 i'm pretty sure we could okay um but yeah i i haven't just haven't tried it yet that's the only thing i'm i'm it's made by the woman who did my little pony friendship is magic so of course i want to play it <laughs> yeah Um, do, 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 do. You can kind of show different. up some of the stuff in our room. Oh, yeah. Want. That's what Central Idaho <laughs> 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 Yes, the Central Idaho FGC definitely uses potatoes to run all of their, all of their uh, uh, competitions. Um, but yeah, in case you guys are wondering, like the artwork back here, this is all done by local artists in our area. Um, that one was actually done for my birthday, and then we got that one. Yeah, we got there. Link. We go. Learn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning how to point when I'm looking at things. Uh, we got that one. Are they, there's something here called Muse Mills? Fest that it's a like an art yeah. celebration. I don't know how how to describe yeah. it. Um, we have one of the uh, adult assist like adult assisted living places here. It's called CTF. Um, it's for people who are mentally disabled and whatnot um and they we i got that's where i got this the link one and they sell like their art too because there's a few people there who are non-verbal but they're great artists like one painting we have in our living room it's a is picture of hellboy is hellboy and apparently that person is non-verbal <laughs> yeah. and loves hellboy and we're just like we want it <laughs> yeah. yeah and then of and course, then of course evie because uh if you I can love tell evie. by the evie. little evie bobbing along with the music down there evie, evie is her favorite pokemon alone the nine tails is mine so that's why they're those are Gotta love, right love the fairy killer. Love the dragon killer. I love the dragon killer. Uh, but yeah, if you guys are interested in those, I could drop a link real quick to their Facebook. If you'll just give me one half mm -hmm. a second here. Don't mind my bad dancing. Because they do sell all of their art and they... Um, you know, they make it all they can make it special order too like there's been a couple that we've had like made special order uh the one that's back there that i got for my birthday which was a surpri surprise which was a surprise we I sent one to jstar that, that was uh super super android, android 8, yes uh yeah because he didn't uh no 17. Oh. sorry did did that kick it off i don't think the stream died well let me look at my phone can you guys still see and hear me okay 
Oh, hold on. Let, let me get off the internet on my phone. Is it still buffering? Sorry guys, we just got like new yeah. internet and we're still trying to figure out stuff. Did you take the internet off your phone? Yes, I did. Yes. I see a freezing screen right now. Okay, okay. hold on. Let me let me change the properties <laughs> on my webcam right now. Dang it. Um still new to this yeah it's a bit laggy like the audio yes, is clear for me okay is that any better now guys well, i don't know so it is a little bit behind okay case. well yeah i know it's gonna be a little bit behind. well yeah obviously okay that looks better okay Oh, that'd be perfect, darn easy. I, I definitely appreciate that. Yeah, I kicked the resolution on the webcam down, so I think that's gonna help. Okay. Um, oh, just turn, if it's still turn my volume down. heavy, then Sorry, we can always uh, move volume. things around a little bit. But I, I don't see any warnings on my OBS or anything, so I think we're I think we're good. Looks good now. Looks perfect. Good. Yay! Perfect. Yeah. I... Did Did you get the things? Oh, yeah. That's what I was doing. <laughs> 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 Sorry, got sidetracked. And this is probably not helping. Do you have them anymore. listed here? Yeah, I, I have them found, but uh, we'll worry about that. I'll, I'll put a link. Yeah, we'll put it later, some. Because, yeah. We'll I do think it it's later. Just, yeah. But their name's called on Facebook. Screen, on screen. Yeah. So, yeah, their uh, Facebook page is Incompetent Adventurers. So if you just look up Incompetent Adventurers, then you should be able to find them pretty easily. Uh, shouldn't be too hard <laughs> to find them, so... Yeah. All right. Uh, so, uh, opening up the floor. Anybody have any questions that they would like to ask? Hello, Angel. How you doing? <laughs> oh. I'm just gonna turn my volume down all the way on here. I want to hear myself. Oh, oh yeah, Max. Sorry, man. <laughs> I just like looked at that. I'm like, oh, cool. Yeah, no. I got you. <laughs> How you doing, Max? <sighs> but yeah, it doesn't have to be just questions for me. It can be questions yeah. for the lovely wife as well. So if you want to you know, learn anything about her, that'd be totally fine too. But eventually what we're going to do back here is... Uh, Oh, my favorite evolution, hands down, is Sylveon, because she's so pretty. <laughs> she she definitely likes her fairy types. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, now, like, I'll I'll take that one too. Uh, I or do you have a for him or no, for me? For, for, you, for, for your evolutions, like your your favorite. Uh, I've n well, is my favorite is Sylveon. Um, I really like using Glaceon too. Espeon, Umbreon, Gigantamax, Eevee, because it's big and fluffy. Um. I always did Vi Viporeon in like the first gen because I'm a water symbol and I was like, ooh, it looks like a mermaid. Aww. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> yep. Yeah. She's still new to the streaming. Yeah. I mean, we're both new to the streaming thing. Yeah. So, yeah thanks, thanks, Max, for that. You know, she, we, we do All I've really it. ever done is watch Saber Spark when he's editing his videos. Yeah, so. <laughs> so we're definitely new to the whole Tiger thing done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a lemonade you addict. Got more. I, mean, I know. It's not like you don't have any more lemonade. You have yeah. Plenty of lemonade. It's in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. I was a big Jolteon fan, honestly, uh, for the original one. I love electric tires. Oh, here, grab it. It's right there. Grab my original game. My 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 pink. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, I'm waiting to get a top three in one of the tournaments that we run too. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Yes. Yes. 
And yeah. technically, cheesecake is a tart. A tart. If you want to get technical, cheesecake's a tart, and uh, yeah. hot dogs are sandwiches. Yes. Can I still have uh, cl the closest thing you? If you don't want to say it's a sandwich, then it's a taco. <laughs> technically, <laughs> but I I would say yes. Hot dogs. Hot dogs are a sandwich. To get top three in my DB tournament. Yeah, like I said, I'm still I'm still waiting to get top three in one of his DB MC tournaments. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on it, man. <laughs> we just keep getting really good competitors in because, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, we just got really good people in the CIFTC. And I'm just trying to beat them is hard. <laughs> well, you might be able to with your uh, anti monkey team. Oh uh, yes. I don't want to say it the other way because it sounds really wrong. If anti -Saiyan. I anti saying it sounds yeah, like I'm saying anti Semitic, and I don't no, like it. You're not. It's anti saying. Yeah. Oh, how did they come up with my team? Okay, so this might take a second. So strap <laughs> in, guys. Um, animals. Oh, I'm I'm gonna actually Optimus. I will come back to yours. I'm gonna answer who I think uh, for your uh, Yimmy Doge. Uh, if animals could talk. I honestly think that squirrels would be assholes. Okay, like I could just see them. Speaking of squirrels, <laughs> yeah, we got squirrels up. Beanie Babies, they're original too. <laughs> right up there. Right up there, yeah, squirrels. Uh, but I think they would be assholes. Uh, our our old grumpy cat that we used to have, Cleo. Oh my God, Cleo. Yeah, like. Yeah, the uh, yeah he would he would be he was an old tomcat by the time we got him because he was my grandma's cat, and he was an asshole. Oh my god! But I loved him. Was an asshole. He would wake me up. Three and chihuahuas, times. chihuahuas would be rude. Uh, he, Cleo would wake me up three times in the middle of the night, and what he would do is he would scratch on not our door, not our bedroom door. No, he would go on the over studio to door. The studio door. Um, scratch on it, and meow to wake me up to go give him food like yeah, that was, was it that's all he wanted he just wanted food like he didn't need anything yeah, else but food. food and if you did not get up and give him food when he wanted food he would pee or poop on my shoes <laughs> and it was terrible he was like 15 oh he was like 19 okay at whatever. that point he, he was, was like 19 or 20 okay but, what's your team okay back to back to the team back to Optimus Pork alright so how did I come up with my team? Um, whenever I first started playing, my first team was Android 18, Krillin, and Yamcha. Um, in that order, just because I, I, I didn't know much about fighting games, I was still fairly new Sorry, guys. <laughs> to the whole like fighting games thing. Good night. Well, thank you, Arnezy. <laughs> uh, we do thank you for drop, dropping in, Arnezy. It was a pleasure having you. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, if you want to just hit me up sometime tomorrow, uh, just DM me uh, any suggestions that you have. That'd be fantastic. Um, but it was my first real for foray into like fighting games and being competitive with them. Um, so I kind of knew like Yamcha was a good anchor at that time, and I knew that you didn't really want to play Krillin Point because at that time Krillin Rocks sucked terribly. Uh, so. I was just playing those three, and I just Hi. came to the conclusion that I really sucked with 18, um, and I had to find somebody else, and Cooler came out about that time that I came to that realization, so I picked him up. Like, Excuse he me. was the first DLC character I bought. I did not buy the season passes for the first season, uh, so literally Cooler was the only DLC that I bought, and I put Krillin Point, Cooler, Mid, Yamcha, Anchor. And then I came to the real realization that I wasn't that good with Krillin either. Uh, so I was starting to look for a new character. And everybody was like buzzing about um, Adult Gohan at the time. And so I was looking at him. But then everybody's like also like, oh, Android 21 is really good too. So you should maybe look at her. And so I started looking at her and I'm like, you know what? I like her better. I like her range that she has. I like the options that she has. The steals were really cool. At that time, they were permanent. Uh, which was kind of honestly a little broken looking at it now, but um, yeah, I really liked her, so I picked her up and dropped Krillin. So I had 21 Cooler and 
Yamcha. And then whenever season two was announced, uh, and they were like, the Dell and Jiren are coming out. I'm like, oh man, I love the Dell. Um, and she you know, talked me into buying the season pass. Because I was like, you're going like, to end up buying everything anyway, so just yeah. do it. So I bought the season pass, and I got Videl, and I absolutely loved her. And I'm like, well, where am I going to put her on my team? Um, I didn't really think I needed two more mix-up heavy characters. So I dropped Yamcha and picked up Videl. So I was running 21 cooler Videl for quite a while. I mean, basically until Janemba came out. Mm -hmm. And then when they announced Janemba, I just geeked out because Janemba's my favorite movie. I hate that movie. She hates that. I hated that movie. Hates that movie. Uh, but it's it, it was my favorite movie. And so... Um, Super Broly's better. <laughs> Super Broly is really good. Uh, but I decided to pick up Janemba and that's just been it pretty much since then. Like, 21 Cooler Janemba has just been it for me. Like, I've invested so much time into these characters that it's really hard for me to switch off to another one um like there are some that i really like like i actually really like goku black um i really like roshi i'm no not good with roshi <laughs> like um just getting his super dash stuff down it takes me a minute to get back into the whole roshi thing um and i'm also a big fan of baby like Baby is really sick, but I I don't think I'm gonna main him. But I do have a Videl Beerus baby team that I'm kind of working on. That um, will probably Beerus be a so second random. team. I love Beerus. I just think that's like, random. Beerus, <laughs> Beerus plays Beerus plays a little weird too for me, but um, I've kind of gotten the the hang of him over time. Uh, but yeah, basically Optimus. That's how uh, that's how I came up with my team. So. How's your tea? Oh, tea is delicious. We have in a, a where uh, the say it because I always C -I -F -G -C. thank you. I always get it wrong. Um, up there, there is a few like Chinese markets and Asian markets that are just great. Um, there's this one really really small one. I think it's called Amco. I think I'm so. probably saying it wrong. Uh, and that's where we got that one. And there's another one that's it's just an international um, market, and it's great. And they've got some like weird vegetable that I've never seen in my life. And they have a Kit Kat aisle. It's basically just Kit Kats. Yes. Big world Kit Kats. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When you're, I will say, Optimus, when you switch off of your characters, when you switch off of your mains and go to some people that you're not used to playing, um, the muscle memory is really a stickler there. Uh, that's one reason why this game is kind of easy to play but another why it can be kind of hard to play because if you play an odd team like i can't do it <laughs> the ones that i play um you get set into a certain muscle memory and then if you go to play something very like Close, basic you. like super saiyan goku super saiyan vegeta and what's another really basic like trunks or uh teen gohan or anything like that the, the basic combos structure is a little different. So you do get, you know, I, I will say I probably did not start off with the best team because, uh, you know, Yamcha's combo structure is a little different. Um, Cooler's combo structure is different than normal. Janemba's is different than normal. So, like, like, that's been the hard part for me is going back in and kind of learning from scratch the more basic characters and how to play them more properly uh, you know if a wonky character comes out then i'm like oh cool i got this <laughs> but you know if a um a more normal playing character comes out it takes me a second to kind of get used to them um like kefla is i think a really good example like she's a pretty standard play playing character as far as like what her combo structure is you do have to play some buttons because uh, she does have multi-hitting moves, but, you know, uh, she's, all in all, a fairly straightforward character to play. Um, whereas Baby, he's wonky, and you have to do a bunch of weird stuff to get him to go, right? He 
does kind of fit the same role as S. Broly. Um, they are a little bit different on the archetypes. Um, Kefla's <laughs> Kefla is a pain in the ass to block if you really if you're playing a really good Kefla like uh, um, Kefla is beauty. Like she, she just makes Kefla so incredibly hard to block that it's not even funny. Um, but yeah, I can see where you can, uh, where you, you can get away with saying like Baby and Esper like kind of fit the the same. Not necessarily the same role, but um, they do have good screen control. They're both big characters. They both have some big normals. Um, they both do have like anti-air command grabs. Um, uh, there, there are obviously like big differences between the two. Um, but yeah, but that comes to the same thing where I was saying with like the Dao and Yamcha. Uh, they both are the same kind of archetype of character. They're both like mix, mix up rushdown. So I didn't want to have two of those on the same team. See, so yeah, I can see where you can get that. Try that your mics. Oh, oh yeah, we can turn that down. That is an easy fix. Let's turn that down. Boom. There we go. That should be better. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. <laughs> Is there a way for us to turn it down so it's not so loud in here? Oh, yeah, we can definitely turn okay. it down. Okay, <laughs> because I'm just like, it's really loud in the headphones. There we go. There Thank we go. you. Oh, yeah, the, uh, the track that we are using is uh, Chill Lo-Fi Hip Hop Beats Free lo-fi hip-hop chill pop music mix it's uh, uh basically if you see homer simpson if and you, he looks like, high look at and you, you see homer simpson he's are you looking forward to oh yes i'm looking for, forward to guilty gear strive like guilty gear strive <laughs> like what <laughs> uh gg strive yeah yeah no, I, I got what it meant <laughs> uh yeah guilty gear strive looks really good um crap i can't think of her name right now dog chick what was the, the one game the that puppy. you wanted to get, but it's just kind of like... <gasps> oh, Grand Blue. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to get Grand Blue Fantasy when it first came out, and I kind of held off on it, and I'm actually glad I did, because that game kind of died. And um, I think I would have really liked the game. It looks like it would have been really fun. But the online is, from what I've heard from a lot of people, worse than... Uh, Dragon Ball Fighters online, so yes, Giovanna, thank you. I'm like, I, I just couldn't think of her name. She's a new character, and this wasn't coming out. But yes, Giovanna, I am looking forward to her because uh, she just looks really cool, and the fact that she's got a, a dog with a recycle thing on his forehead is freaking awesome. I'm not even joking. It's a green dog, and he's got the recycle thing on his forehead. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm just not into fighting. And Sorry. then Faust also, like, looks really interesting to me. Um, I've always thought that he was a really neat-looking character, and I kind of like the um, odd, different characters. And from playing, like, Fantasy Strike with Lum, um, I've heard that Lum Please and Faust sorry. play very similarly in the fact that you can just throw a bunch of random stuff out and make it, uh, make it work. What's the worst? What's the worst? The worst what? I'm compuzzled. <laughs> I mean, I, if you're just talking about in general, what's the worst? He's um, going to say cheese. <laughs> I was gonna say meatloaf, but oh, meatloaf! Yeah, meatloaf is pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, meatloaf is terrible. Um, yeah, yeah, yellow Sur like American cheese. Yeah, man. surprisingly, cheese uh, not cool. surprisingly, but surprisingly, Agent P doesn't like cheese unless I, it's like mozzarella. I don't like yellow cheese. He doesn't like yellow you're, cheese. You're, you're mislabeling. Things. But he eats Kraft macaroni and cheese. Explain that. It's fake cheese. What's the worst job? Oh, what's the worst job you ever had, and why <laughs> is it a soda company? <laughs> um. That I'm actually not going to get into right now. Just in case. Um, but uh, there, yeah. <laughs> um, I think I've actually figured out who you are, Yimmy. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm not going to quite get into that right now. 
Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, you kind you kind of know why. Um, I actually will probably end up making a video at some point, but that is uh, not here right now. Put it that way. What would you say mine was? Would it be the grocery store? Or would you say it would be the hotel? Or um, pizza. Oh, I hated You hated Jerry's Pizza. I hated the pizza place I worked yeah. at. They're not open anymore. Yeah, yeah. I worked at uh, Pizza Joint here uh, year, when we first started dating. Uh, and it was terrible. Like, I was told, you're going to be the main, you're going to be our main server. You know, you're going to work almost every single day, every single night. You're going to make shit ton of tips. And I was like, two, three nights a week. And it was terrible. Yeah, if, if everything totally aligned in the cosmos and I was able to uh, be able to do this full time. Oh, yeah, totally creating content, creating streaming. Yeah, if I could make a living doing this, I totally would. Um, I know that it's not easy to. Um, and I know that it's something that you really have to work at and have to be able to put a full time job into it. Um, and you're gonna have and a personality. Even if, even if you do that, it's gonna be uh, difficult. To, and uh, Yemi, don't worry about it. It's totally cool, man. <laughs> it's totally fine. You're you're good, man. You're good. Um, but yeah, no. If I could if I could make a full time job out of content creating, I totally would. Like this is one of the more fun things I've had to do, um, and it's actually helped out a lot with stress and stuff to like keep me sane at times oh the music just turned right <laughs> yeah <laughs> so, so so yeah it's like oh. oh yeah it is it is there's a lot going into it and depending on how simple or complex you want to make it like whenever i first started uh i was on just doing facebook stuff like I just recorded my matches on the PS4 using the internal share and recording system. Oh yeah, it's system. totally fun. Um, and I didn't even edit through like Share Factory at that point. I didn't have any commentary. I didn't have anything on there. You, um, I wish you'd post was, some of it. It's bad. Yeah, I can't. E I can't even like. The, the thing is like. I uploaded them to Facebook and then I deleted them. So they're on my Facebook page. On not, not the real AGP Facebook page, but my own personal Facebook page. They're on there. The um, you just got to go back and find them. And I've been trying to figure out how to actually download them. And I think I'm going to have to kind of cheat it and do like a screen capture through this thing here and be able to do it. Because um, I do kind of want to show you some, some of the first matches where I'm like, you know, I'm pretty good. And now I'm looking back on them like... Oh, oh dudes <laughs> um but yeah like then obviously stepping up to getting on youtube um my buddy david lives in town here um i'm the only one that can get away with calling him dave which is freaking awesome because i just started we played dd &D together yep we, used to, we um, need to do that again we do need to play some dnd &D soon That'd be fun. um but he was like why don't you just put it on youtube and i'm like well his I don't know and so i just started putting on youtube and then i was at a at the job that i'm in now but in a different position um i'm one of the girls who was under me at that time she's like oh yeah it's really easy to do commentary just do this this and this and you're you're set so i'm like okay so i started doing commentary and then it just kind of evolved to where like i want to edit this and make this look good and then let share me factory. jump into share factory so then i jumped into share factory and i've by the time that I was done with Share Factory, I think that I pulled it as pushed it as far as I can or as far as I could that particular system. And then I'm like, I, I want to do more, but I can't do any more here. So I'm going to jump over to the computer. So I still record and capture all my stuff on the PS4. I'm pointing here because that's where our living room yeah, is. Yeah, like living room is literally right behind that wall. <laughs> and that's where I. That's where we have our like beautiful awesome wood TV. paneling from like I don't know when. Uh, 60s, oh, yeah. definitely from the sixties. Our house is um, old. And I just take those captures, put them on a flash drive, move them over to the computer, and then edit, edit on my uh, editing software. My so, my favorite D and D class. Um, I like playing druids. I like doing rangers. I do like playing bards. Um, I played a barbarian once and I was an elf barbarian. Um, 
and he was a, a dwarf he was a dwarf for Ark, and we were our couples are yeah. we're married and but we wore the exact same armor yeah like the, the thing is we we just build each other we we build ourselves as a dwarf or as a rogue and a barbarian we just didn't say which was which yeah and like we both wore like leather armor and we both had like similar stuff i had a uh a great hammer and she had a bunch of like daggers and a mm -hmm. staff so everybody assumed that she was the rogue and i was the barbarian Barian. but then like i would my 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 dm was very gracious with this and he let me use the sneak attack with my great war hammer <laughs> Which was fantastic, by the way. Like I, I ended up like, sm like sneak attacking someone in the back of the head and just killing them. Like oh, I like playing thieves Boom. and rogues. Yeah, but um, yours. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm getting oh. to mine in a second. I'm telling the story. I'm gonna okay. tell the story. Uh, but we, uh, whenever we were like first, and they're like, wait, she's the barbarian. I'm like, and I, I, I was doing a Russian accent at the time too, because I just thought it was funny, because you know dwarves are. Dwarfs are usually Scottish, and they're all like, oh, I'm going to have a drink and stuff. But I wanted to do a Russian accent for him, so I'm like, yeah, of course she's, of course she's, she's not sneaky. I am a rogue. I am small and short. She is tall like three. She sticks up like thunder to sword. <laughs> and he would come up with, <laughs> And like, I would come up with, with, like, random sayings, like, like, uh. He's know, probably speaking gibberish. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in, uh, like, in, in, uh, dwarven, oh, in dwarven linings, we yeah. have, we have saying. <laughs> it means you do not eat cake while sitting on toilet. <laughs> it loses something in the translation. <laughs> and everybody needs and my and my barbarian was uh, she was like a southern male, <laughs> and the only t and when she would rage is when he would get hit because she'd be like, "How dare you hit my man?" And, <laughs> and don't you hit my man? <laughs> yeah, it was great. Uh, but as far which as, is like, Pearl's voice, by the way. Yeah. But as far as like my favorite classes, I. I absolutely love bards. Um, I think they're so fun to play. <laughs> You're going to tell them about them, aren't you? I'm going to tell them about them. I'm okay. going to tell them about them. Um, but I love bards. Um, I'm also a big, like, spell and sword kind of character. Megas. Like, Meguses from Pathfinder uh, in 5e uh, Curse of Strahd. Oh, I feel oh. sorry for you, man. If you're a paladin and you're playing in Curse of Strahd and you're the only healer, that is rough. Buddy. <laughs> I also like playing Pathfinder Witches. Yeah. Um, I miss you. Pathfinder, yes. Her Pathfinder yeah, Witches we'll tell that story later. Um, but, yeah, like, in 5e, the Eldritch Knight uh, fighter is what I'm currently playing, Dragonborn. Um, but we haven't played that campaign for, like, what, three months now? Yeah. Yeah, so I think it's I think, I think our Well, I think our DM was just waiting until, like, after the holidays yeah. and everything, and once one of our guys was kind of done with school, so that probably probably soon yeah um but the the bard that she was talking about bristle bix his, his name is bristle bix and he was a goblin bard oh. whose performance was puns i will make sure to save the picture from uh because i made him as a mini on hero forge mm -hmm. that site's addicting yes and i'll have agent p post it later being yes. like we'll this is bristle bix and so you guys can it, see, oh, what, you can see he glows in the dark yeah, it's like, so uh, he doesn't glow in the dark, but he, he glows, glows in the in dark. The dark. <laughs> um, I got like bright, bright yellow, like neon green dice skin. for him. Um, skin too, and that's the color that she used for the skin. Um, but I was like, I want something that's just obnoxious. Hey, I think we might have froze up. Ooh, oh, there, there okay, we go. There we go. <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I just wanted something that was just obnoxious. For this character, for his dice, because yeah, and he would he would pun any time that he could pun. And um, they weren't good. They were t they were they were always fantastic. They were always so fantastic. What are you talking people. about? Um, yeah, but that's that's my favorite D and D class. My probably my favorite character I've ever played was my witch. We did a campaign where we were both in it, and we were evil, and basically we were trying to take over the world. Yeah. And I was a elf witch who was obsessed with death like she wanted to become the next goddess of death um and i was our hexer i would the hexes i took i took cackle and evil eye and it was oh you need to play D D. D D is amazing after this you need to play D D. um and basically i would i would give you the evil eye and i would pick a stat that i could 
what reduce you, yeah you could you could debuff she was a debuff she was a i was debuffer. a debuffer and then if i She's cackled so it. um it would last at least another round until i stopped cackling mm -hmm. and the best way to describe how my character looked she looks like the actress who played luna lovegood in harry potter except um she was super skinny like basically she was a skeleton with skin she was like, like, it's like eat a cheeseburger, Luna eat some Lamba Luna, spread. Luna love good if you didn't feed her for like three months. Yeah. Um, and she had like pure white hair, except for like, I think it did her bangs. You were did the ends of it in black. In black. Um, and she, oh, she was great. She was the potion bitch. Like we, everyone in the campaign was walking around with like a literal gallon yes, we, of we health had potion. Literal, we had literal gallons. <laughs> and she, <laughs> oh, she was great. Um, <laughs> Like, yeah, she was hands down my favorite. The only thing our DM wouldn't let me take because it was too evil was cook children. Was, uh, smell children and no, cook smell, people. Yeah, smell children and cook people. It was too evil for our evil campaign. And I was like, oh, but that'd be fun because in case we're like, where's website you can. Yep. Yeah. 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 yeah Optimus, uh, roll 20. Uh, you can play it remotely. That's what actually what we were doing. Here. It's not the greatest, but it does work. It works pretty decently. Yeah. It, it, there the is a chat curve on it is horrible. Well, the chat's terrible. But there, is, there is a learning curve to it, and once you get that learning curve down... Um, Just don't play with it... him, because he always ends up being the one dice... The, the rolled one dicer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for some odd reason, roll 20 hates me, and <laughs> hates my... Uh, hates Tarhoon, my dragonborn. Because um, it seems to pick on one person in particular and with the the dice roller that they, that they have on there uh it'll seem to be like okay this person today oh, they're would you roll stop auto focusing your bugging mate well, here, we can, we can change that. <laughs> sorry we can change that keep properties we're auto just, focus because I, like, I keep seeing it in a second, second. Ah! Just a second. Video. yeah it depends on the dm Game control oh it's not it's not auto Okay, it just looks like it's auto focusing. It's trying it? to. I'm gonna just, okay. I'm gonna hit it on auto. I'm gonna just let it go. Okay. okay. It's just bugging me. Okay. I think the camera itself just does it too. I think it does it too. Yeah. It's annoying. So. Okay. Uh, yeah, it does depend on the DM. Uh, depends on if you're running a all human um, campaign. Well, if you're running like a pre like pre written out one, or if somebody's winging it. <laughs> um, if you're running, if you're running one that's already written out, um, yeah, like his his Curse of Strad one's been going on for two years, and those can run like that long, depending, especially if you get like sidetracked on side quests and you're like, mm -hmm. like, ooh, what's that shiny little cave over there? I'm gonna go over and see it. <laughs> so, that's him whenever he plays Skyrim. I do have a tendency. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, they can they can last for a long time. Yeah. Uh, then there's other ones that I've been in that the full campaign, like the literal full campaign was like three months and then you're done how long did we do the blackened heart or whatever the hell it was called oh the blackened heart that one was about a year that one nine or ten months yeah yeah meeting once a week and of course if you can find a group that meets that can meet every single time when you meet at that time it makes life so much easier. it makes life so much easier yeah that's that's the one thing that really kills the what campaigns. if your character dies um, <laughs> depends on the DM there, again. There, there are different, yeah, there are, there are different ways that you can go about that. Like, um, frustration, <laughs> some, some, some characters, uh, you'll figure out, um, yeah, our homebrew has done a lot of homebrew. Yeah. I, if it's lasted for two years, it does seem like it's, it's been a lot of homebrew. Um, but yeah, if your character dies, there are resurrection spells like clerics can cast and you can, or the DM's like, it didn't happen. Yeah. Or <laughs> the DM can be like, Oh, look divine intervention and fix it but um, or roll a new character or just yeah roll a new character sorry bro which honestly <laughs> that is the yeah, to me that's down. the biggest downside to um to D, &D is or any tabletop rpg is mm -hmm. the rolling out the character Ugh. some some are quicker than others yeah um my my <laughs> you ripped your, your sheet, sheet up. up yep yep uh my personal favorite system that i that i have is called anima beyond fantasy um good luck finding anything yeah it's not in print anymore it was spanish that was translated to english but it's, was... it's all in japanese anime style oh you you can literally make goku <laughs> you can make you legitimately you can make any character i think we have it <laughs> uh, <laughs> well do you want to grab it 
Yeah, I can grab it real okay. quick. Um, I'm stepping away. Oh. But yeah, you can literally build any character you want to that does anything you want to, and all characters can do everything. It's just uh, how good they can do things and how easy it is for them to get good at doing things in that particular uh, system. But yeah. But got this for a wedding present from, again, my buddy David. So um, it is, like I said, my favorite system ever. It's just... I made Harley Quinn. Uh, the the character pro the character <laughs> creation process in that yeah. is extremely long. I'm just put it on the trash can. So she got torn up. <laughs> Tombstone reach. She got torn up. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Just instead of R dot I dot P, it's just rip. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, if you guys get a chance to ever play Anima, I do suggest it. Everything is run off of D10s or D100s. Um, unless you're our buddy Kyle. Unless you're, oh, no, he just rolls his 100 turns. <laughs> it's, it's weird. But, um, yeah, literally any character, any class can do anything in that game. It's just a matter of how good they are at it. So, like, a wizard is not going to be as good at punching someone as a fighter is, but he can still punch someone and get pretty good at it. <laughs> It's just not going to be as easy for him to get good at it as a fighter. And a fighter can use magic, but he's not going to be as innately able to do it as a wizard. Yeah, because like, there's all these like creation points and stuff that goes into it. That one is actually oh, a more hold complicated Hold on, it might system. be buffering. At least it is on my phone. Okay. Is... Is when I already had one failed death save and rolled a nat one on my next. Oh, oh. That's... oh that is rough. Okay, so nat one means on. rolling a natural one on a twenty-sided dice. So on the dice, it's got one through twenty. Um, one is the worst possible outcome you can get, and twenty is the best possible outcome you can get. Um, on a de death saving throw, uh, yeah. I think it might be lagging, babe. Hold on. Probably. I'm just gonna ask. Okay. You can type too. Yeah. No lag, lag for me. me. Okay. Perfect. Okay. I wasn't sure because I looked at my phone and it still shows me handing him the book. Okay. Um. I'm just gonna close my. That's probably just the best thing. So. Yeah. Close. Uh. Um, there we go. But. 20s okay <laughs> i had to think of where it was um yeah so if you roll like a nat one it's usually depending on the dm some dms will say yes i, I like this rule this way and some will be like no it doesn't mean that um but most dms will say if you roll a nat one it's an automatic fail at whatever you're doing it's just bad um and a lot of dms will say that if you roll an automatic if you roll a nat 20 then it's an automatic success. I've heard of Dominion. I've never played Dominion. Um, I've played actually quite a bit of board games. Yeah. Um, Our favorite one we have right now is uh, Trial, Trial by, by Trolley. Trolley. Trial it by Trolley is really fun, guys. It's made by the people who make uh, Cyanide and Happiness, the comics on there. They also made Joking Hazard. It's great. Um, it, yeah. It's... It's good. Just check it out. Just check it out. Um, but something I, I will say about board games. Um, it's a deck builder. Yeah, the Dominion is a deck builder. Um, something I will say about board games is that me and one of my buddies has actually been working on one. Uh, four. <laughs> We've been working on four for a little while. Uh, we have one that is 99% um, done. I know. And... Look, oh, seriously, look up Trial by Trolley. Trial by Trolley. Yes. It is look great. It, up. it is not kid appropriate. Definitely not NSF and, and, and not safe for work. Yeah. No SFW. There we go. I've never played Flux. Have I played Flux? I don't know. I might have played Flux. That With might our have, friends, you might have. It's, it's very, it's honestly very possible that, that I played Flux. There's like. <laughs> Dude two, is really good. <laughs> two of our buddies have like. Um, three of our buddies. Well, three of our buddies have. So many board games it's not even funny. like literally this entire wall could be filled 
of board games. Mm -hmm. All different. All fun. Yep. Um, but yeah, we have one that's going to be coming out hopefully pretty soon um, that we're calling Bubble Ducks. And it's a card game where you have to gather your army of duckies. Your little rubber duck armies. And you're going to fight their rubber duck army. And so you're trying to get the biggest rubber duck army before they get the bigger rubber duck army. It's fun. And it sounds really like kiddish. kiddish and it is made, honestly, to where a five-year-old can understand the rules and play it. But it's also the kind of game where you could definitely get a bunch of drunk frat party people playing it because it's definitely got drinking games. Yeah, no, I'm, okay, I, I've I been sure reading that the whole time. I don't, that's probably what's just like. Okay. Um, but it is a very fun game, and as soon as we get a proper prototype, um, which we've got one, it's just not quite done. It needs to be fluffed. It needs to be fluffed a little bit. It's very, like, my my buddy is a IT guy, and he wrote the rules, and the rules are very, like, point A, point B, point C, point D, point E. <laughs> and uh, I'm like, dude, you need to fluff this up. He's like, I don't do fluff. I do concise and to the point and i'm like i, I know this so let me fluff this up <laughs> so i'm gonna fluff it up and make it a little bit more you know like do you want to describe one of the cards you or do you want to surprise them um i, I want to surprise okay the cards. Yeah, so. let's just say i did come up with a few of them she came up she did help me come up with a few of them um, at least three or four yeah but the uh the the the, the game is gonna be pretty fun i think once and we hope happen. to eventually make a adult version mm -hmm. called what the duck the what the duck edition yeah the what the duck edition mm -hmm. you know pictures will be a little more risque and whatnot <laughs> <laughs> um yummy no are you thinking what i'm thinking disapproving sip <laughs> when you read that yes okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. so anybody else any any other questions we got because we'd actually only planned on this going about an hour so we're about to that point um but i mean we're we're down to keep talking for a while mm -hmm. it's not like we have to do anything tomorrow. it's saturday yeah we're i'll just have to eventually wipe the face off we're, we're at home together on a saturday night Ooh. We do this all the time. Married like, goals. Married goals. Yeah, you know you're an adult when you get excited about a new ceiling fan in yeah, your we bedroom. Got new, we got a new ceiling fan in the bedroom, guys. It's pretty. Mm -hmm. It's pretty. <laughs> yep. I have light. The The old fan we had in there had an incorp incorporated? Yeah. I, I have to ask him if I'm saying the right words. Incorporated LED light, and we didn't really realize that? We didn't really realize it when we bought it. And then it was we. like LED, and we're like, cool. And so we bought it, and then we're like, oh, it's like a circuit panel. Okay. Married goals. So, yeah, definitely married goals. Uh, so, but it was like, yeah, this panel will be good for like 25 years. And I'm like, or however long it said. I'm like, cool. More than, more than four. Yeah. <laughs> And Basically, it, I went to turn the light on one day, and it started, like, stra strobing. I was going to say strassing. Strassing. <laughs> Call of Duty. <laughs> Playing split-screen Call of Duty. <laughs> nice. I said, I See, that, is, that is a merry goal, too. So, just being able to game together. Yeah, I said, there's not... Well, we don't have a lot of games that we can game together. Because we both like fantasy games. Yeah. and RPG. I mean, unless we really want to play Lego games together, because I... I love my Lego that's games. That's all her. I'm not much of a Lego game fan because I'm just like, okay, what are we doing? She's like, we're breaking shit. <laughs> break, 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 break anything and everything. And I'm like, I, I don't have that much anger issues. I don't need to break <laughs> everything. She's just like, Hulk smash. <laughs> I like using people who have like laser beams. Mm -hmm. It's easier to break shit. Yeah. She's an efficient breaker. Yes. <laughs> definitely does it efficiently. But yeah, no, so it started like messing up and we're just like, oh, let's see if we can fix it. And it's like, you can. It's just really expensive. Yeah, you basically have to own a soldering gun and I don't own a soldering gun. So, so. we're like, eh, we'll spend $100 and get a new fan. Yep. So we got a new fan and it looks pretty. Yep. Can't no. get into Minecraft. Tried. Yeah. I have never even tried and I'm cool. Like um, our, our, our best friend's kid has it and 
He I, loves it. He loves, loves it, it, even though he's not allowed to play online because his mom's like, nope, there are rude people online. You're an 11-year-old little boy. Mm -hmm. No. Yep. <laughs> you don't need to hear that. Nope. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I've never tried Minecraft. He, like, I played with him, like, last time we were over. He's like, you want to play Minecraft with me? I'm like, how do you do two-player Minecraft? That's, it's, it's just... And it basically, his mom just goes around and just, like, punches trees. Yeah. So, we just, yeah, I played with him for a little bit, and I'm like, <laughs> cool. Yeah. I, I, cool story, bro. I, I think it's a cool-looking <laughs> game. I just, I yeah, can't. like, it's, it's a neat, and it's a very neat concept. It's obviously been a very good selling game. Because it's, it's how old now? It's as old as Skyrim. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I love Skyrim. Is it as old as Skyrim, boo? I think it's as old as Skyrim. Mm -hmm. It might be older. No, I think Skyrim's older. I don't, I don't know. know. But yeah, Skyrim. I love Skyrim. I own it two times. <laughs> if it comes out on the PS5, if we eventually get a PS5, guess who's going to buy it again? It's probably going to come out on the PS5. <laughs> I'm eventually going to have it on the it, Switch, too. I'm just waiting for the price to go it, down. It would not surprise me if it came out on the PS5. Yeah, because, you know, because Skyrim it's... makes them money. Skyrim just is like... Pretty much. I've spent way too many hours on Skyrim. Yeah. <laughs> Way too many. Same thing with Pokemon. Mm -hmm. A lot of hours of Pokemon. Oh yeah, we've spent a lot of hours of Pokemon. I have but... yet to fully complete a Pokedex yet. Oh, there's a Lulu. That's Lulu. Oh. Move, move Agent P. That 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 black cat there. That's Lulu. <laughs> they need to make a co-op Skyrim. Yes. Yeah, that could work really well. Um. Except I'd just be shouting at his ass the entire time. She would. She'd be like, I'd be Who's doing something. She'd be, like, she'd be like, go here. And I'm like, no, I'm trying to go here. And she'd be like, duh. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Off of the That was about the only thing we didn't have in our wedding was Skyrim. Yeah. Yeah, we did have a very... Skyrim and Pokemon, I think, were the two big things we did not have in our we wedding. We did have a very geek-tastic wedding, but it wasn't... It wasn't done to the point where... Oh, my God. Like, you could tell it was geek-tastic. Yeah. If that makes sense. <laughs> um, like, a lot of our music for when, like, you know, people were sitting, to being escorted to their seats, it was the Vitamin String Quartet. Um, it was basically all their music. It was their nerd album. Um, was a lot of that. There were a few, like, we had a Final Fantasy piece in there. There was a Kingdom Hearts piece in there. Um, uh, Legend of Korra. Legend of Korra, be. yeah. Uh, and then our colors for the wedding party were green, red, blue. I mean, obviously. Oh, there we go. <laughs> um, yeah. I wanted to try to find a silver dress, but we couldn't find a silver dress. We got a. She got a white dress. It's really pretty. Yeah, it's it's hanging. It's up actually, there. just right up there. I'm oh. not gonna get it right now. No, maybe but, later. Yeah, it's like someday. It's like sealed and yeah. all like. Clean, um, they like cleaned it and resealed the girl, it. Uh, the the girls it. all had yellow flowers. I, I I even told my my uh, florist I'm like if you could try to make them into a triangle that'd be cool. And yeah. she's like I'll try my best. Mm -hmm. Um, our wedding we had five wedding cakes. Yes. Yes, five wedding cakes. I yeah, we think. didn't we didn't have like one big like multi tier wedding cake. We had five individual single like, layer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They were like they they were a single tier cake. They were they, they look two tier but they're single. they were stacked. Yeah, because that's how you do it, just a single tier cake when you're doing a single tier cake. But they were, they were five different wedding cakes, and they were five different flavors. So um, people could my choose. two were, I had a Sailor Moon cake, which was her compact. I mean, obviously Sailor Moon, you got Luna. Um, it was, it was white cake with cherry filling, and then um, my other cake was Nightmare for Christmas, which is one of my favorite movies, and it was the snow covered hill. Um, and that was white with yellow. I probably should have done pumpkin, but I hate pumpkin. It was so. lemon, yeah. Huh? It was lemon, white with yellow. It's a Zelda's lullaby. Oh, sorry. Yeah. That was some. Mm. That was supposed to be one of our like exit songs. Yeah. The the PA system in the church Goofed. messed up like right before the end because uh, we were we were gonna kiss and like whenever he's like you know my kiss the bride and we were gonna kiss. And then the da 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 da, da, da was gonna Final play. Fantasy was supposed to play, and in the video, because they had a video recording system up, um, you, you can hear, hear it because it. it played oh. through that, but you could not hear it through the speakers. And he played it several times, and we're standing there staring at each other, waiting and I'm just for like, it. Kiss me. And she's like, 
grinding my hand into my new ring that I'm not used to wearing. And um, I'm just like, just kiss me. Just kiss, kiss me. Like, just, just kiss me. Just kiss me. Just kiss me. And I'm like, okay. And then everyone's like, yay. And then uh, the it got awkward for a second because we're just standing there like staring at us, staring at each other for like a good like 10 <laughs> seconds. Ah, oh, you rickrolled everybody. That's great. That is classic. I think we played that at our wedding anyway. I think we did play that at our wedding because you actually own that CD. Yes, I do. I like Rick Astley. Mm -hmm. um, but then his cakes, he had a DBZ cake, mm -hmm. which had of course. Uh, Shinron all wrapped that, around it. And the top was the six-star Dragon, Dragon Ball, Ball. Um, which was... That one was Red, red Velvet. Velvet. With cream cheese frosting. And then mm -hmm. he had a Mega Man cake, which was Mega Man's helmet on top when you looked directly yeah, it to was it. Like the front of his helmet. And, and then around the side was him doing yeah. like his little running, and jumping. And, jumping and, yeah. uh, and that was raspberry with yeah. white. Mm -hmm. And then our cake was a Final Fantasy cake. Mm -hmm. We had Fantasy. We had the, the Yuna's summoning thing, the, the main art from Final Fantasy X that's like behind it. Um, that's 80s got, Love Ballads. Awesome. Uh, that was around the cake. And then we had the the comet from the meteor seven. from seven on top, and that was just white with white. Yeah, it was just vanilla, vanilla. Yeah, seating a bunch of eighties love ballads, nice. And then all of our tables were um, either red, red, uh, red, red, green, or blue water beads. Yeah, um, and uh, rock, like we had little, little glass like rocks that were about that big. Hold around. on, I'm gonna go get them real quick. Oh, just to yeah, show. She's me. just gonna go get. We still have a uh, a vase from it, and then all of our table numbers. Yeah, I'm getting uh, we had cut out um, to look like 20-sided dice, and we had all of our table numbers um, written out. Them, uh, on the table. Yeah, so these, th these, this was basically like our centerpiece that we had at our wedding, um, and we were table 20 because you know why not? We, we did, no we table. did not have a table one because we didn't want anybody feeling and that it was bad. Just a single flower. Yeah, and instead of uh, um, like bubbles or rice or anything, we got these streamers that were all in our collars. So people could like wave them whenever we were walking out. Yep. <sighs> yeah, and uh, our DJs um, were like actually really loved cool. our loved our what we were doing. Were awesome. We they told us that we were the first wedding they ever had that played heavy metal. That played heavy metal, and we were just like, yeah. Where I'm like, obviously, I just want some like you know good dinner eating music so mm -hmm. i'm like dean martin frank sinatra you know that kind of yeah. stuff willie nelson harry connick jr whatever so we had that um the tossing the garter was um same old situation because that's motley crew motley crew um i had a rainbow dash garter yeah <laughs> <laughs> i had ponies in there somehow yeah uh and then I'm trying to think what else uh, and then when i did my bouquet toss it was um, the uh, take the take me down to the little white church. Whoever sang that, because I just yeah. like the song. Uh, oh, with her with her garter toss. By yes, the way, this was funny. Um, Are you going to talk about pulling the things out? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So we had I have bought her over the years. Um, every evolution yep. in plushies, all they're all about that big. They're cute. Um, and so what we did was we had a chair set up with a tablecloth over it. And we had the evolutions in a box underneath it. So, like, whenever they're like, okay, go under there and get the garter, get the garter. So, yeah, like, we, I, moved, I, we moved the box to, yeah, like... I, like, fluffed the dress up over me. And then I just started, like, pulling out random Pokemon and just chucking them out behind my back. And, and you went, like, gotta catch them all? Yeah, they're like, whoa, what's, what's, is that a Jolteon? Oh, well, I guess you gotta catch them all, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, finally got to the garter, finally got the garter off and everything. We did the toss. And what was funny is the, the, the girl who caught the bouquet and the guy who caught the garter were engaged to each other. Yeah. And we're just like, oh, their wedding's in September, so. Yeah. And that year, we had five weddings. Five weddings within a one-year period. Including ours. Well, no, we had six including ours, I yeah, think. Yeah, six including ours. Five or six. It was ridiculous. There was a lot of people getting So married. we have, jokingly say, we have the married club within our friends, and, like, yeah, it was literally like, boom, this person got married. Boom, this person got married, like, in the next month. Mm -hmm. There's only, like, one person in that group of friends, one couple in that group of friends, that they've been married for, like eight nine years at that point yeah so yeah. we're just like hey you guys don't count yeah <laughs> they're like oh i remember these days i'm like shut up y'all but yeah like everyone told us with our wedding that it was like the most fun wedding and we mm -hmm. pretty much touched when i say touch we had influence on everything we did because we planned it ourselves because mm -hmm. yeah. i don't have the money for a planner yep 
and it was yeah i wanted it to be geek we call it geek chic because we didn't want it to be like i'm up there dressed as zelda yeah no like no traditional wedding dress for her yeah uh like traditional tux for me he looks great in a tux i look fantastic in a tux i look look fantastic in a tux Uh, (laughs) but uh, i had like a silver vest Um, no you had ivory no it was silver no you had ivory I can go look at that photo right now. It's ivory. Okay, whatever. I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna argue with you. Um, the wife always wins. The the one thing that we did was they're not even in here, are they? No, they're in. They're in the other room. Um, I'm a really big Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fan. I made him take down the the the, the turtles painting yeah. and. Um, oh, thank you, Optimus. It Yay. was great having you here, man. <laughs> Stream Twitch is so yeah. Yeah, I yeah. like that Twitch is so. Twitch is so. I do like the Twitch is so. Um, yeah, I do plan on putting this up on, on YouTube later, so anything that you miss from here on out, then it'll be good. Um, but, where was it going? Oh yeah, Turtles. Uh, we did a photo shoot um, in one of the parks near us that has a bridge that kind of, the underpass looks kind of sewer-ish. It's not dirty, but it's just all stone, and there's like a, a like a tributary running through it so we went down there the town branch we went down there and uh i had made a pair of nunchucks and a bow staff one of my uh groomsmen my best man he collected swords at the time and then uh i had a pair of size <laughs> that i had bought off and we bought the guy. we bought the guys the we uh... got sunglasses that were all the different turtle uh turtles and we did a turtles photo shoot <laughs> Down Normally there. the girls are the ones who do the photo shoots. I was like, because there was nothing we could think of to do. <laughs> like we could have, me and my girls could have done Sailor Moon or like Gotham City Sirens. Yeah. But I was like, eh, let the boys yeah. have this one. And uh, the the funny thing is, while we're down there, like the lady's like, man, it would be really great if you had a pizza box. And I'm like, funny that you say that because I have a pizza box in the back of my Because our, our centerpieces, like the the center part of our centerpieces, was this shiny sequence material mm-hmm. that his grandma she cut them all out for us because mm-hmm. um, she had a I think she had a start she was a seamstress for a while yeah so she had something that could make they were all perfect yeah and uh, so I'm like hold on so I go up there and grab that because it had all the spare ones in it and when she's like okay let's do this <laughs> <laughs> so like, we it always gotta be the box we, so, we need to post photos of that we do need to post photos of that so we'll probably be posting some photos of that on our on our twitter pages just to be like oh by the way if you hit if you missed the stream you know or if you saw the stream this is what we're talking about here here and here and our honeymoon was great our honeymoon was so fun we went C2E2. to chicago comic book and entertainment expo <gasps> i got to meet aquaman i got to meet jason momoa yeah she was so happy she got to meet momoa and I got to meet Ivy Doom Kitty. She's a cosplayer. Mm-hmm. I love her. I got to get autographs from Chris Sabat and Sean Schimmel, uh, voices of Goku. And, I told Jason Momoa um, he was pretty. Piccolo and Vegeta. Yeah. I fangirled so hard she in front of him. I was like, you're pretty. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I actually am surprised that I did not fangirl in front of Chris Sabat. You did. He is, he is you told me what you said. You fangirled I, in front of him. I did not fangirl. I kept from fangirling. <laughs> I talked so fast, I kept from fangirling. And I met, um, uh, I can't remember her, Jewel something from Firefly. She played Kaylee. I got her autograph from my best friend, who was my matron of honor. And I called her at the convention. And she, she, like, she answered, she's like, why are you calling me on your honeymoon? Do I need to hide a body? And I'm like, no, I got something for you. She's like, what? And I'm like, your favorite show is Firefly, right? She's like, yeah. And I'm like, I got you Jewel's autograph. I got you Kaylee's autograph, and here's what it says. And she's boom. She dropped the phone, and she, she's like, "Hold on, I gotta call you." Like she's like, "Take a picture, and call me, and I'll call you as soon as I get it and see." It. I, I'm hyperventilating now, mm-hmm. so I took a photo of it, and she spelled her name right because I, I was like, "Here's how you spell her name." I went to Facebook, and it's just like, "Yes, sir, Mister Captain Bussy Pants," or whatever it's or whatever the quote was, and she called me back like in tears, and she's like, "I can't believe you got me something on your honeymoon," and everything. I was just like, "Great!" I gave my best friend a heart attack yep. on uh, her on my honeymoon. <laughs> all right, so uh, let's see, we've been going for about an hour and fifteen. I think this is actually a good place to stop for today. So yeah, thank you guys uh, for watching. Very much appreciate it. Um, this will be up on YouTube at a later point. Uh, I just got to figure out how to do it. Yes, that's her yes. name. That's who. That's whose yes. autograph I got. Jewel State. Yes. 
state. She's know. really pretty in person. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you did, you know, give us a follow. Uh, you can also pop over to my YouTube page. Um, it is the real agent P on YouTube. Just search that. You'll find me. <laughs> mm -hmm. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. But most importantly, have a great day. Bye.